Hello, hello, hello everyone. Mambo. Still here in Kenya. Today I am in Diani. Just made it to Diani finally. So I made it to my accommodation here in Diani. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, actually it's like a different compounds in one uh, in one place. So you can see this uh there's more there it's another one there and they all have like different names the one that i'm staying in is called alicia <laughs> so let's check it out there's also some monkeys here they were hanging around earlier but uh, i don't know where they went to so yeah as you walk in you know see the living room and then the bed is just right there there is also a lot of space for your clothes if you stay longer that comes in handy um yeah it's like a small apartment um yes the kitchen fully equipped microwave stove gas stove uh, fridge and this is the bathroom uh, got a standing shower and uh, yeah you know typical simple simple bathroom yeah so yeah, and the lady that works here, she's very nice. Her name is Rosemary. And actually the, the beach is not far. It's like, or like one minute walk, not even. I just get out and the beach is just right there. So. Abari. So this is the yeah, this is a swimming pool. You can chill here. It's open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So yeah, very clean. And also if you're coming from the beach, they have this setup for to wash off the sand. And uh, yeah, you can also have a barbecue, a nice grill here. Yeah. pretty neat pretty pretty neat yeah so when I come back again on I'll be I'm gonna go look for food uh, I'm looking for local food they gave me a few suggestions so I'll be doing that uh, and then uh, yeah then go to the beach so anyways be back so yeah forget about looking for food so the 
one of the lady that works here she says she's the assistant manager her name is esther she offered me lunch she was cooking so she's like i'll give you lunch don't go out buying food so <laughs> i really already tested the rice a little bit of the sauce chapatis it is so good it is especially this rice i don't know what she put in it it is so so good so yeah i won't be needing to walk around looking for for lunch today so yeah that's that's really amazing <laughs> so that uh this is the compound right here that's where i'm staying if you go that way you go to the sort of like a main road there's some restaurants there so and the beach is this way so i'm gonna go there now wow all right here is the famous uh diani beach Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. Diani, guys. Diani. So yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So apparently that also is an old hotel that uh, that closed used to be very famous lots of tourists but uh, yeah that's pretty sad yeah so you can the most of the boats are not moving right now even the ones for the for the they use for tourism the guy was telling me that uh, because the, the the tide was high earlier and the, also the the waves are kind of rough so they usually park the boats and wait for things to calm down a bit hey guys <laughs> So that's the Nomad Hotel and restaurant. I worked here even for long, but with the building construction. Uh, yeah, yeah, people chilling, drinking. Enjoying that. Yeah, enjoying, man. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna yeah, Matata, but I know they are, they are working here. Yeah, this is Diani, guys. So it's a really long stretch of a beach. We we walked all the way from far far from the D Ani. Yeah, no, I'm impressed with the beach for sure. Really impressed. 
Yeah, a lot more hotels. This is a uh, lagoon, lagoon hotel. And then up on the on the on the rock there, he was telling me that's actually the Baobab Baobab Hotel. And uh, after that rock, that's the end of uh, Diani Beach. And then it becomes you say Galu Beach, Galu Beach on the other side. So. So yeah, I'll end the uh, Diani beach. I mean, being on the beach here. And then I have a, a reservation with that famous Alibaba cave restaurant tonight. So I'll be going for that. So unless something else comes up, I will see you at the restaurant. Um, I thought I'd show you guys this is what the place looks like in the in the evening where I'm staying so yeah so yeah so I'm just chilling outside right now and then I'm gonna head over to the to the restaurant yeah I'm tired <laughs> so just gonna chill go to the restaurant and then uh, yeah come home and sleep Here I am guys at the Alibaba Cave restaurant so my reservation is at 8.30 so uh, yeah we're gonna see what it looks like inside so here I am guys wow that's how it looks from the top Nice. Wow. It's actually a cave. So, so I'll wait here to be seated. Gentlemen, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, man. My sister. Yes. yes uh, okay. Follow you. Yes, The wine prices actually are <laughs> actually not bad for a glass. 
and that's the menu yeah the appetizers uh, pretty steep price for the appetizers I think I'm gonna skip the appetizers and go to the main course Yeah, so it looks like a starter is uh they give you some bread for starting as a starter which is good. Nice. So my appetizer is like uh uh something like oxtail petre or something like that. Yeah, it's actually very delicious seasoning is perfect okay this is my main course which is a beef fillet comes with uh, some onion rings uh, got some chips on the side it comes with some veggies so yeah we'll dig in or oh, has like, some gravy to dig in and see what it tastes like all right finishing it off with a uh, cheesecake yeah all right so let's talk about the restaurant the um alibaba cave restaurant so it's beautiful it's a cave and uh, the prices uh, i know i said that the wine prices were good no they're not i just miscalculated so yeah the prices are pretty steep so on average i'll just say i'll give it seven out of ten because uh i think the prices are a bit too much the food is okay and uh yeah but overall it's a it's a good experience so it's just something to check out while you are here in uh, indiani and uh the service was actually really good so yeah anyways that's it Yo, 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 so this is still continuation of my Diani video. Um, I just want to say that uh, I had fun in Diani. I'm actually now back to Mombasa. In a hotel here in, uh, in Mombasa called uh, Ivory, Ivory Suites. It's a, it looks like it's a brand new hotel. Uh, it's about 6,000 shillings as well per, per night quick uh, room tour uh, you know if you come to Mombasa it's a good option if you're looking for something uh, not too bad and it's right in town actually right near to the old town so it's a good spot if you want to be in the in the busyness so it's me right there yeah big standing shower bathroom towels and uh yeah it's tv yeah this is this is a standard room i believe which is uh the low cost room they have and uh it's a double bed but that looks looks really big that can fit like three people there so yeah as you can see it's actually pretty simple room and uh yeah okay the view of mombasa right there 
So as you can see, it's right on the main road, but yeah. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. I wanna, I'll kuna matara. So, peace.